nice old cobblestone street. Obviously the houses were built after people milling around everywhere. A glimpse of the cathedral with a Christmas tree. There you go. Canterbury Cathedral. Always doing repairs. Nice lead roof. Digging a hole, a trench for something. Probably got a burst pipe. <laughs> oh, archaeological. Divert the water away from the foundations. She's moving. Oh, look at this. Look. Complete with three kings Mary, Joseph, and Jesus. And a donkey. And some scary looking characters. All this masonry, stonework, amazing. It's really, this is really the front. Looks like the side entrance, which they let everyone in. The work that went into this stained glass windows. I look, a couple of new masonry pieces there. They must spend absolute fortune, hundreds of thousands, keeping this. There was a couple missing there. Cut the most pieces missing. Some of these buildings may be older. Don't know. It's not a history lesson. I'm just showing you what I'm. Last time I went in here was probably 30 years ago. More scaffolding. Always working on this. There's a nice new piece up there. Yeah, always working on this building. I think it's a little wall, isn't it? <laughs> There's a new piece there. Oak door. Look at this. These ceilings. Oh, look at this. I thought it was like a medieval football pitch or something, but with a few dead ones to bear with you. Oops, a bit more than that one. Very important resting place for people. Just come round here to look at this strange arrangement. I mean, you look at this masonry work. You chipped away. Look at this here. Work involved here. A bit dark in here. Here lies the body of James Evans. Right. A bit of terracotta stone. I don't really know what this originally was. Well, some old stuff here. 1768. Look at how old that is. Right, well, I've got to go meet someone. Look at this place, it's got some pages. It's a bit dark. I found another old piece, so you'd be surprised how much ruins there are in the cathedral itself. That's what this is. That's where all the work's going on. The original part of the cathedral, before they built the cathedral, all these old columns and arches still here today. Hundreds of years old. The moss right on there, but it's there. Must be a golf course here somewhere. You might have a tennis. Look at this, see? <laughs> that old oak frame there. Crazy. It's either been washed, sandblasted and cleaned. Sunshine. Practically done a full circle. Oh, 
huge place. Code 5 lead, I reckon. Yeah. Stained glass windows. Wow. That's new. Looks a bit too new. Some architect's freaky design. It blends in really well. Well, look. That's a quick trip round the outside of the cathedral. I'm freezing. It's about three degrees, I believe. But it's time to go and uh, have a warm up somewhere. Nice tree. I don't think the clock's always been there. I don't know if it was the original entrance or not, or if it's as old as the building. I get out into the sunlight to check out the sun. This is the original entry, that's what we've got to do. That's a new bit. That's an old bit. That's an old bit. Come and touch the cathedral. It's not a history lesson. It's 500 after Christ. Thomas the Beckett died here 1170. Well, he got murdered in December 1170. Then the pilgrims came and they came here to touch the oldest Christian church. All good cars, apparently. So there you have it. Come down to Canterbury Cathedral and touch it and feel good.